One of the biggest problems that I faced when I was starting my business was record keeping. And I know that this is not a unique problem to me. It's one of the biggest problems that's there in the business world. When you're starting off, you may be tempted to just have somewhere where you write down or even just putting your Mpesa statement as the way that you keep your records. But then that gets confusing very, very fast because of reconciliation. So I went in search of a solution that I could use that had three criteria for me that would actually make it worth it to use. The first was ease of use. And the second, the ability to give out invoices and be able to follow up on them. And the third one, which I think is the most important one, was taxes. That's when I stumbled on a business management software called Tally Prime. Let's get those credits rolling. Tally is a business management software that has been there for over 30 years. It's currently being used by over 2 million businesses all around the world in over 100 countries and in Kenya there are over 6,000 businesses that have been using it and they've been here for close to 10 years now and when I found this software I think for me a light bulb just went off because number one thing that I saw was the fact that even if I have a small business I can be able to use the software and if you have a big company with so many employees, then this software actually grows with you. Then, even if you are a professional accountant and you do this for so many other businesses, this can be the management software that you use in order to be able to serve all your many customers. So that for me was tick number one. The second thing for me that was extremely important was invoicing because when I was starting my photography business, this was one of the things that was hardest to maintain. I would talk to someone and then I would forget how much we had agreed on. This was a big problem for me because I was not able to keep good records that I needed to. But with this particular software, what I can actually do is every single customer who comes in, I can be able to create their profile with all their details. And then even with these invoices that I am creating, I can create them in multiple currencies. If someone decides they wanted to pay me in US dollars, they can do this and I can be able to maintain proper records of the same. Apart from the invoicing, because this is not just about accounting, I can be able to do many more things on the platform like payroll, as well as keep an eye on sales. If you have a business that does actual stock, there's an inventory module on the platform itself. One thing that is actually good for bigger businesses is the fact that if you are the CEO and you want your own customized view to get a top-down view of the business, you can get that view. The accountant needs another view as well because they are in a different department. They have that as well. If you have internal auditors or even external ones, they can have their own customized view because they are looking at the business from different angles. This can be done to make sure that every single person is making use of the platform and you have real-time reporting that is happening, even for the top management, they can be able to see their summary immediately. Then if you are using this particular software, you pay for it once. You have a perpetual license. You don't need to pay over and over again. And then I'll tell you how much it costs because when I did my math, it made sense because I was paying less than $30 a month, this was really good for me. If you have a business that sells to different kind of clients with different kind of products, then you can actually be able to input this in. So for instance, if you're a manufacturer 
and you sell to wholesalers as well as to retailers, you may be charging them different amounts. You can actually place in this tiered type of pricing into the system so that you choose if you're selling to a wholesaler, their price is X. If you're selling to a retailer, their price is Y. All this is input into the system to make sure that you keep all your records well. Now, in the first link in the description below, you will get a free demo account to be able to use this software. This is a place where you can be able to input a few things so that you can be able to see how exactly this product works. For our business, we'll actually start a retail shop and we've called it the very best Duka. That's what we're actually going to use. And once we have created the company, what we'll see is now what is on your screen. This is what is known as the gateway of Tally. What I'll actually show you here are the different masters that are available here. And you can see the groups, ledgers, voucher types, currencies, and all that. So under ledgers, you can actually be able to see them in the normal accounting order from current assets to liabilities. You have your expenses as well as your incomes. We'll actually start with vouchers. This makes it very simple. On the right, you'll actually be able to see the date, the company, contra, receipts, journals, sales, purchases, other vouchers, and other details as well. So this tells you that if you want to do a payment, this is the same place that you'll actually do it. If you want to do a receipt, this is the same screen that you'll come to. You can actually be able to do every single thing just on one page. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. What we are going to start with is to raise a purchase voucher. So I've clicked on purchase and it brings me purchase number, which auto generates because your business is continuing. So we'll start with invoice number and then the date here, I can actually be able to set the date. Then the next thing that I want to do is to put in the party account name. I will create a new supplier. So on the right, it gives you the suppliers we have already created for the business, but we want to create a new one. So we'll click on create. And once we've clicked on create, we can actually make that particular client right now. Under this gives you the list of the ledger accounts that you'll go in. So your suppliers are usually under creditors. So that's what I'll click on here and then maintain balances bill by bill. Yes. Default credit period, let's say 30 days. Check for credit days during voucher entry, I'll say yes. And then all these other details for your client, you will need to fill in, click on accept. Then our purchase ledger, it's already created. If you haven't, then you'll just click on create and then you'll create purchases. If you haven't, just click purchases. And then the item we want to buy from them, since we haven't yet placed the stock item, all we'll do is click on Alt and C, or we can just create it right there. So what do we want? We want the 500 gram white bread. So you can actually create different SKUs if you want to. It's under primary. Yes, we want kilograms. So here you can create the units at created kilograms and liters. It's just simple. Click on create, click on KGs there, and then VAT is applicable. Yes. And then do you want to alter details? No. And then we'll just say accept. Let's say we are buying a thousand pieces. The rate here, say we are buying them at 60 shillings and that's the amount. Once we have put in the amount, we actually say VAT. If we want to place a sale, this is a very new customer. We can call them customer A. So come here, click on create and then we'll create our customer A and this will be a debtor. So we'll just click on D here so that it brings us debtors and check for credit days, say yes. And then that's our customer. This is 001 that we've actually done. And then you'll fill in all these details, click on accept. 
For our sales ledger, if you haven't yet created it, just come to the side, click on create, and then we'll create our ledger called sales. And then we'll come here and it will actually be under sales accounts and then fill in all the rest of the details, click on yes. So we've actually created that. And then we want to sell them our bread. So here we are with our bread. Say we sell them 200 of them. And then we're buying them at 50. We are selling them at 60. That's the amount. And then we also want them to buy a second. Here we can say we want them to buy milk. And then we'll have it at 1,000. Then we're buying it at 50 something. Let's sell it at 70. So that's what they have purchased. And we can actually click on accept. What I want you to see is if someone wants to make a payment, I'm on the same screen. I'll just click on payment and which client wants to pay. Click the account that they are using. Click on cash. That's the one that they are using. And we have customer who has just bought and they want to pay. So they want to pay 50,000. Once they've paid the 50,000, it's just that simple. This is on account and then click on accept. What we've just done, we've already gotten our very first payment. So if you wanted a receipt as well, just come and you can actually be able to say, we want our cash receipt and we want it for a customer. We'll place a amount of 50,000. This is on account, this is the receipt. And then we can actually click on accept. So the next thing, that I want to show you here is reports. We can actually go and check our stock summary report and you can actually be able to see all your closing stock at that particular moment. Here, you can actually be able to look at all your stock at one glance. And if you want to show the profit as well, you can actually be able to see it right there. If you want to check your reorder levels, this is what you do. Just click on the group status and then I'll click on primary. We can actually place our reorder levels right here and we can even be able to see if we are falling short, what is currently available, what has stayed very long is actually on a report called stock aging. That's actually possible here. You can actually be able to see this are uh, the stock that you have. Now with the shop, you will need to amend this from less than 45 days to say something like less than five days, less than 10 days, things like that. Then the next thing I want to show you is the reports that are available here. So of course your balance sheet is possible here. You can be able to see your current assets and your liabilities. This is a look at everything that's there. As you keep on adding details, you'll be able to see even more. And then you can even be able to see your profit and loss. We've done a purchase and a sale as well. So you'll be able to see this as well on your profit and loss account. You can even be able to see on your stock summary, everything that's there at the moment. This is a report that you can actually be able to look at. If you want to do your VAT, you'll actually be able to just place that there. Your VAT form three is actually available for you. So suppose you want to send your client this particular statement of where they are. This is what you do. You'll just come here, click on export, and you can actually be able to export current and then just Send. If you want it as an Excel, you can actually find it here. So we'll click on PDF and then we'll click on accept down here or just click on enter. That's pretty simple. All you'll just do is if you want to put in your digital signature, you can actually be able to do it. Just click on accept and then you'll click on send. And that shows you exactly how simple it is to use Tally Prime for your accounting. Remember, this is a program that can be used by a beginner, such as myself. I can be able to use this to do every single thing that I would want to do in my business. I'll see you in the next one.